college manmad welcome friends to this second lecture of multivariable calculus i am here professor sn chinsole from arts science and commerce college manmad in the previous lecture we have already learned the functions of two variables the domain and graph of functions of two or more variables the objectives of this lecture are to study level curves to learn functions of three or more variables what are level curves the level curves of a function f of two variables are the curve with the equation f of x y is equal to k where k is a constant that lies in the range of f if k is not in the range of f we can't define f of x y is equal to k therefore that k should be in the range of f and for each k in the range of f we can find the level curve of f at k level curve f of x y is equal to k is the set of all points in the domain of f at which f takes on a given value means it is the set of those order pairs x y in the domain of f for which the value is k in other words it shows where the graph of f has height k example sketch the level curves of the function f of x y is equal to 6 minus 3x minus 2y for the value k is equal to minus 6 0 6 12 what we have to do we have to just take f of x y is equal to k as the level curve of f of x y at the value of k therefore what we get the level curve of the function f of x y is equal to 6 minus 3x minus 2y or 6 minus 3x minus 2y is equal to k if we shift all the terms in the left side towards right what we get we will get 3x plus 2y plus k minus 6 is equal to 0 so if we observe this equation carefully it is of the form x plus by plus c is equal to 0 that means it represents a straight line therefore all these level curves are straight lines with the slope m is equal to minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of y what is coefficient of x here 3 and the coefficient of y is 2 therefore this is a family of lines with slope minus 3 by 2 thus the level curve is a family of lines with slope m is equal to minus 3 by 2 in this example here if we substitute k is equal to minus 6 we will get the line 3x plus 2y minus 12 is equal to 0 or 3x plus 2y is equal to 12 for k is equal to 0 it becomes 3x plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0 or 3x plus 2y is equal to 6 for k is equal to 6 it becomes 3x plus 2y is equal to 0 and for k is equal to 12 it becomes 3x plus 2y plus 12 minus 6 that is plus 6 is equal to 0 see here for k is equal to minus 6 the level curve is a line 3x plus 2y minus 12 is equal to 0 for k is equal to 0 it will be 3x plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0 for k is equal to 6 it will be 3x plus 2y is equal to 0 and for k is equal to 12 it will be a line 3x plus 2y plus 6 is equal to 0 as all these lines have same slope these are the equally spaced parallel lines and it can be shown in the figure see the line towards the right is a level curve at k is equal to minus 6 means it is 3x plus 2y is equal to 12 this line is a level curve at k is equal to 0 this is 3x plus 2y is equal to 6 this line is level curve at k is equal to 6 passing through origin it is 3x plus 2y is equal to 
and the line towards left it is the level curve of f of x y at k is equal to 12 it will be the line 3x plus 2y plus 6 is equal to 0 second example sketch the level curves of the function g of x y is equal to square root of 9 minus x square minus y square for the values k is equal to 0 1 2 and 3 again the level curve of the function jxy is equal to root 9 minus x square minus y square or nothing but j of xy is equal to k or square root of 9 minus x square minus y square is equal to k. If we square on both sides, what we get? 9 minus x square minus y square is equal to k square. And if we interchange the sides, what we get? The level curves are x square plus y square is equal to 9 minus k square and if we observe this equation carefully what does it represent it represents a circle for k should be less than or equal to 3 and greater than or equal to minus 3 this is a family of concentric circles with center 0 0 and radius square root of 9 minus k square ok therefore for k is equal to 0 what does that level curve represents it is a circle x square plus y square is equal to 9 means circle with center at 0 0 and it is 3 units. For k is equal to 1, what will be? It will be x square plus y square is equal to 8. It is, it is again standard circle with radius to square root 2. That means square root of 8. For k is equal to 1, the level curve is x square plus y square is equal to 5. Again, it is standard circle with radius square root of 5. And for k is equal to 3, what we get? It will be the circle x square plus y square is equal to 0. It is just origin 0, 0. Third example, sketch the level curves of function h of x y is equal to 4x square plus y square plus 1. Again, the level curves of the function h x y is equal to 4x square plus y square plus 1 for some values of k are given by hxy is equal to k that means 4x square plus y square plus 1 is equal to k or if we shift this plus 1 towards right we will get 4x square plus y square is equal to k minus 1 and if we divide throughout by k minus 1 by assuming that k minus 1 is not equal to 0 what we get we get x square upon 1 upon 4 times k minus 1 plus y square upon k minus 1 is equal to 1. What does it represent? It represents an ellipse provided that k minus 1 is strictly greater than 0. For k minus 1 strictly greater than 0 means k greater than 1, it represents a family of ellipses with semi axis. 1 upon 2 times square root of k minus 1 and square root of k minus 1. This can be shown in the diagram if we observe carefully. This origin 0 0 itself represent a level curve at k is equal to 1 then first ellipse outer to the origin it represents level curve at k is equal to 1.5 then k is equal to 2 then k is equal to 2.5 and so on this is a family of level curves 
of function x x y is equal to k for k greater than or equal to one. Functions of three or more variables, it is just like functions of two variables. A function f of three variables is a rule that assigns to each ordered triple of real numbers x y z in a set D a unique real number denoted by f of x y z. For example, the temperature T at a point on the surface of the Earth depends on the longitude x, latitude y of the point and on the time t. So, this temperature t depends on three variables, longitude x, latitude y and time t. Therefore, it becomes a function of x, y and t. In this case, t becomes a function of three variables, f of x, y, t. Find the domain of f if f of x, y, z is equal to ln of z minus y plus x y sin z. We know that sin is defined throughout a real line, but logarithmic function is defined for only the positive real numbers. Therefore, this function can be defined only when z minus y is greater than 0. So, the domain of f is d is equal to set of order triple of real numbers x, y, z such that z is triple greater than y. What is it written by? This is a half space consisting of all points that lie above the plane z is equal to y. Because above the plane z is equal to y represents z greater than y and below the plane z is equal to y represents z less than y. Find the level surfaces of the function f of x, y, z is equal to x square plus y square plus z square. Again here, the level surfaces are f of x, y is equal to k. That is, x square plus y square plus z square is equal to k. But here, as x, y square and z square all are non-negative, k should be non-negative. Therefore, here will be the condition k greater equal to 0. What does it represent? It represents sphere with radius square root of k. This forms a family of concentric spheres with center is 0, 0 and radius square root of k. Thus, as x, y, z varies over any sphere with center O, the value of f of x, y, z remains fixed. And these level curves are shown in this diagram some of the level curves. See, just this center origin 0, 0, 0 represents level curve at k is equal to 0, that is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 0. Then, the sphere outer to the origin, it represents the sphere, standard sphere, with radius 1, that is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 1, that is the level surface at k is equal to 1. Again, outer to this sphere is standard sphere with radius 2, that is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 4. It represents level surface of f of x, y, z at k is equal to 4. and the outermost sphere is x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 9. It is standard square with radius 3 units and it represents the real surface of given function f of x, y, z at k is equal to 9. The assignment for this lecture. In the comment box of this YouTube video, there is a link of Google form for feedback from assignment. To sketch the domain and graph of functions, you can use any of the mathematical softwares like MATLAB, GeoGebra, Scilab, Maxima, etc. For any query, please write a comment in the comment box. Thank you. If you like this video, please 
click on like if you want to share this video you can click on share symbol so that you can share the video to your friends or colleagues and if you want the next lectures in this lecture series you have to subscribe the channel so that you can get the alert for next lectures